everyone. This is Sandy Reese with StampaCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks for joining me for another video tutorial today. I have a new technique that I want to do. It's new to me. It's not new to the rest of you, maybe. Um, but I'm going to be using the Seaside Bay Bundle. I love this stamp set. I love it because the pearls, the, um, the little birds, it's just got a lot of different... Um, you know, beachy shore type things. And then we have our seaside, seaside Bay dies, which um, have some shells, they cut out the images, and then we have this fun little uh, kind of clamshell. So um, I'll be using this on a class later this month, or what's today, Monday? Yeah, later this month. But today we're gonna do a fun, a different technique called a floating tile technique. So I'm going to start off with a half sheet of thick basic white cardstock. And this is um, a super simple, and you can do this with a lot of different stamp sets. And then I have a piece of basic white, just a layer to go on. So that's four by five and a quarter. And I'm using Bermuda Bay to stamp this. And um, Berbuda Bay is actually, I think, one of our retiring colors. So um, if you don't have this color, I, I really love it. And this says, you are a pearl rare and precious, which I like because I could go with anything. That's really all I'm gonna stamp. I'm gonna make sure that that's dry before I glue that down. But to do our technique, I have a piece of window sheet. Okay, so um, I'll put all the measurements on my blog, and then I've cut a few pieces of cardstock. I have a piece of um, pool party, a couple pieces of coastal cabana, and then two pieces of Bermuda Bay, and they're different widths, just to add a little bit of difference, um, you know, a variety in there. You could do them all the same if you want. And then what we're going to do is adhere these to the window sheet. Now you can use um, seal adhesive. That is what I'm looking for, my seal adhesive. I know I had it out. Usually it's staring me right in the face. Okay. I would not recommend liquid glue for this. I would use seal adhesive or tear and tape. So I'm just going to put this on my grid paper so I can line it up um, so I get them straight. That's just to help me get those on straight and they're not crooked. Okay, so I did my pool party in the middle and I'm just going to do a little gap in between. So Coastal Cabana goes next. gap right there and then I'm going to put the Bermuda Bay on the top and bottom. Whoop, that's sticky. Okay, a little gap there. And a little gap right here. All right. So you can see I've got that glued on the back. You, you can kind of see right there where the adhesive is. Now I'm gonna die cut this with a circle. Okay, I grab our stamp and cut and emboss machine. And there'll just be a little bit of that Bermuda Bay kind of peeking out at either end. I'm gonna go through a couple times because that window sheet can be a little thick. I'm cutting through cardstock and window sheet. So hopefully that will do it. All right. You can see that there it goes, pops right out. Isn't that cool? All right, so this is floating, so you can't really see the window sheet in that it's glued to, which gives it that floating effect. So now we're going to pop this up, and I'm just using some of our adhesive strips, and I'm going to put these behind the 
cardstock, so you can't really see them. Let's cut off a little bit more. And a piece right here, and then one more over here. I'm not gonna try to squeeze anything behind those ends. This should be plenty. All right. And I just have to peel these off. Nope, didn't get it. Okay. I'm going to, let's, let's go ahead and put this on first. That is not cut correctly. Okay, I don't know what that's cut at, but it's not correctly. It's a little too wide, so I have an extra one that I've already stamped. Don't know what happened there. Because I actually had that in the pocket, in the, in the envelope with that. Weird, okay. So I've got this glue down, and we're going to pop this up on top just centered and now isn't that cool it looks like it's floating you can look from the side you can see there's a gap but it looks like it's floating so all i'm going to do is add a couple of these shells these are some of the pearlescent paper and just using a little bit of seal adhesive behind these one here. You can pop these up, but I, since this is popped up, I don't think I'm going to pop these up. I'm just going to put two right there, and then we have these great flat adhesive back pearls, and um, they look like, you know, you found them on the beach. Now these, this um, bundle, where is it? Where'd it go? The Seaside Bay bundle is gonna be continuing over, so that will be in the new catalog. And these pearls are gonna be in the new catalog as well. That is a blender pen, and it's not going to help me. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of the larger pearls, and we're going to just put this right about there, and we'll grab whoop, a small one, jumped right off at me. So I'll put that one right there, and that is it. I mean, how, what a sweet, simple card that's got this great uh, floating tile technique. Love this thing. I wanna make like 20 of these with different colors. You know, you, it would be great with a little flower here. You could put a little animal, whatever you wanted to put. Um, super fun technique and easy to do. It doesn't take a lot of the window sheet either. I just had some scraps that I used to, to make these. So I hope you enjoyed that project. I will post the measurements and supplies on my blog. Please, please click subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Um, our Thursday video will be pre-recorded, so I won't be doing a live on Facebook. Uh, my mom is staying with me this week, and I have to take her back on Thursday, so I will not be home. So I'm going to pre-record um, the projects. Don't know what they're going to be yet. <laughs> I'm going to work on that, uh, hopefully this weekend, and uh, we'll get them posted um, for Thursday. All right. Thanks everybody for stopping by and I will see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.